Hey guys, Synergy here, and we're bringing you a brand new video. This one is basically to show you yeah, when your team isn't really helping you Sir, too much within a gameplay, you can still win the game, guys. It doesn't there. mean Keep that looking. it's a complete loss because your team's not doing well. Fair play, it is a teamwork game, but sometimes you've just got to do it solo, guys, and that's exactly what we're going to show for you right now. Um, so, you want to get your win-loss percentages up, guys, and stuff like that. You want your stats not to be falling down. Obviously, we're against a few high ranks at the moment. You can see my rank there, G8. I'm actually G10 now. Um, I've been recovering from an illness, so I've been popping out all my videos. Some of them are a little bit old, guys, so I do apologise about that. Um, well, obviously, I'm going to be bringing you brand new videos, brand new content, new maps, everything that you want, you name it, request it, just tell me what you want, I will get it for you guys. Simple as that. I don't mind what weapon it is, I don't mind what map it is, what game mode, anything you want, literally. You can see one of the routes that I use there, because a lot of people tend to be AFK at the spawn, which sort of pays... Uh, Pays for itself really, as soon as you get into the spawn, it's a nice easy free kill to get you started off. So that'll rack up your attrition points straight away. Um, obviously it isn't the best side to actually spawn on, the other side is actually the better side. And what you can see here is me paying attention to my minimap, and we know there's a guy around here. One, two, three pilots are around here. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and hunt them down. There you go, pilot number one. Okay, and we see pilot number two coming up the stairs just here. Oh no, we've been hit by an art mine. Okay, so they've actually gone into here, and we'll just take them out. Freaking Spectre in the way as well at the same time. And there you go, there's another human player, which ends up taking me out. So fair play to him, he got the kill. Um, I'm not going to blast anybody for actually killing me, because I'm not a rage gamer. Okay, right. So, what I'm going to be doing, guys, is I am going to be creating different sorts of teams as well, for different game modes. I'm going to be brushing up on my last Titan skills for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up pretty much pro for you, and I'll be able to give you tutorials as well. So, if you're a clan out there, and you're struggling to win other clans and stuff like that, it's all to do with teamwork, communication, guys. And it's also not being stupid, so what you don't want to do is you don't want to just run into the open, for example, and you do not want to challenge a team that is sitting back at the spawn. For example, all they're going to do to you is chuck a load of triple threats, say, over a building, they're going to chuck a few cluster missiles, direct hits to you, which will automatically take your shields down, and they'll win on damage, guys. All they have to do then is sit back, and you've got to challenge them. Simple as that. So what you want to do is you want to make them challenge you. That is the key to success. Um, so yeah, that's just a few little tips for different game modes. I thought I'd throw that in there for you guys. Because he had a clan recently who was being a bit cocky with me, to be honest with you. Um, he won me in a game of Last Titan Standing where I was playing solo against the whole clan. Um, I'm not being funny, but it's not exactly hard to win one person without communication with the other team in a public game. Um, it's not exactly the hardest scenario. And this clan apparently has actually won loads of tournaments, guys, and they've won every single Last Titan tournament. By the time my ears were completely just completely spent on that one. It's not like me to have a little rant for you guys, but it's one of those. I don't like people who just win me for the sake of it. Um, um, obviously, I can take a loss, that's fine, but if it's a full clan against me and they're claiming to be so pro because they're six against one, then it's not really a fair game, is it? So, give me a team, and simple as that, I'll work it out, and I'll show you how we roll. Yeah, baby. Right, so we're going to end up taking this Titan out anyway, and we're just getting on the field. We're going to so it's a little bit of a slow gameplay of this one, guys. So what I'm doing is, hopefully, I'm keeping your attention. It is only nine minutes long, so I hope you watch the videos the whole way through. And I hope that they don't waste your time, and you actually learn from them. As you can see, that is me paying attention to the minimap again, and just knowing that that kid was stuck there. Um, obviously, different players have different levels of skill. What you'll find is a Call of Duty player, they'll be more conservative when they're coming on to Titanfall, and what they'll be playing like is in corners and stuff like that. So you do have to be careful when you're walking through those doorways, guys. You've just got to watch out for that. 
um, it's just one of those, use your head, um, have fun with the game. If you have fun with the game, chances are you're actually going to do quite well, unless, for example, you're running around with a pistol and you're challenging Titans like this, for example. Um, uh, yeah, then you might not do as well. But it's one of those. I'm here to help you improve your gameplays, guys. Um, I've brought you out so many videos now on my channel. If you check out all the videos, you don't have to check out everyone. I'm not going to force you to watch every single video. I'm not like that. I'm not a complete dick. Um, but yeah, uh, the videos that most interest you challenge tutorials, kills tutorials, there's general ownage gameplays, high attrition points gameplays. You'll find things like 165 points of attrition gameplay, which is pretty feasible. You'll find things like a 20 killing spree, and you'll also find the mayhem achievements. What you'll find as well on the channel, guys, is basically there is another achievement. I actually forgot what it was called. There's basically a mayhem achievement, but when you get on a 20 kill spree, um, you actually get another achievement which does pop up in the middle of the screen. That's on one of my recent videos as well, so be sure to check that out as well. Okay, so all I'm doing now is I'm just working in the title. Now, I shouldn't really tell you this, but I'm going to give you a little hint in attrition, guys. Now, first of all, quad rockets, a lot of people put on the attachment, you know, for the rapid fire. It's not, it's not the best attachment. If you close battle with a Titan, fair enough, it will rip a Titan apart, I'll give it that. But I actually use the standard on it, as you can see here, because it's got a wider spread. And what you'll find is what I'm using on this is the Vortex Shield. And I'm actually going to use a cluster missile just in case of the rodeos. What you can do is you can actually switch that up between the Vortex Shield and the Electric Smoke. If you're using the Electric Smoke, what you want to do is basically you get two Titans against you, place your smoke down, be firing blind fire through that smoke. You'll take a bit of damage on them, you might not get much. But what you want to be doing is you do want to back off that challenge as well. When you get people on you as well, you can fire the cluster missiles against the wall. Face your back to the wall and the cluster missile will literally take that power off your back. Um, you can do it several different ways and stuff like that. Right, okay, so you can see I'm just taking the auto titans out of the gameplay now. Our kid just tried to jump on me, he thinks I haven't seen him, but I definitely have. So we just take a second out of the game just to take him out so he doesn't even get the rodeo on us. And then we finish off the Titan after it just took a bit of damage. We do have a guy on the roof that we ended up taking on. It's all keeping your eyes open, keeping your focus, keeping your concentration. As you can see there, 19 pilot kills, 20 pilot kills. And I believe that was 116 points or something like that. We'll see at the end of the game anyway. Somebody in the guard tower trying to jump on there. Somebody actually took him out. We just crushed it on the pilot. And we're moving on to yet another Titan. Okay. So this is where my health starts getting depleted. And I'm actually in the back. But what you see here is a very smart move by me. I'm backing away. And I'm getting range. There you go. We've got a Titan behind him. And we've got me in front. So what that Titan is going to do. Hopefully help me out. Where's the Titan gone? Oh my god! Okay, so he's just up the Titan now. But no worries, I've got the survivor on it. And we're just going to take out a bit of damage, throw two art grenades towards him. That doesn't actually make any contact, but there's another Titan actually chasing him down. Right, guys, so if you like the videos, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the videos. I know I'm not the best commentator in the world, but. Uh, hopefully my voice is sexy enough for you to hit that subscribe button. Hey baby, how you doing? Yeah, come on, come on, that deserves it guys, come on. Right, so, aside from my annoyance, I'm going to leave you to the rest of the gameplay guys. Peace out.